Today we are going to find the surface area of a cylinder. We already know that a cylinder has two circular bases that are identical. And then around it, your cylinder, um, it's a, a rectangular shape. So when we open up into our net, we've got our rectangular shape. So our cylinder is made of two circles on either end that are identical, and then one long lateral rectangular surface. So, so, so to find the surface area of a cylinder, we have a formula down here. So our formula is surface area equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Okay, so we know that to find the area of a circle, we use pi r squared. Pi r squared to find the area of a circle. But we have two circles. So those are identical. So we take our pi r squared from one circle and multiply it by two to get us the surface area of our combined circles. So these, this part right here is the area of your bases. Then we know that um, the lateral surface, the length of your lateral surface is actually the same as your circumference, which gets you that 2 pi r. So that would be the length of one side of your lateral surface. And then we multiply that 2 pi r, that circumference, times your height of your figure, which is h. So this second part is the area of your lateral surface. Okay, so we combine our area of our bases and the area of our lateral surface, and there we've got our air surface area of a cylinder. So let's give it a try. Um, when we are doing this, we will always set up our formula right away. So we've got S equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi R H. So then I take a look and I plug in what I've got. I substitute my dimensions in for parts of my formula. I can bring down that too. Immediately I want to turn my pi symbol into 3.14. Yes, I can plug in my pi symbol into my calculator. Um, for our purposes, um, this I, is what I will plug in. So your answers will be based on this. If you plug this into your calculator, it'll be slightly off um, and that's okay. You your judgment. Okay, R, R, R stands for radius. Our radius here is four millimeters. Um, and we're going to square that. And we add that to two, again, substituting in 3.14 times R. Our radius is still four. That doesn't change. And now we add in our height, which is three. Take your time and make sure that you're filling in correctly. These are not the same. This one we add in the height, um, but we don't have the squared like we do over here. Then I go ahead and I can plug this all into my calculator. If I combine all of this, uh, 2 times 3.14 times 4 squared, it's going to get me 140 and 48 hundredths. Then I add that to... This total, 2 times 3.14 times 4 times 3, which is going to get me 75 and 36 hundredths. Now I've got the area of my two circles, so that's my circles combined, plus the area of my rectangle. I add that all up to get me a grand total of 175 and 84 hundredths millimeters squared. And that's my surface area. Now, we want to pay attention because sometimes instead of getting a radius in our diagram like we did here, we will have our diameter. And we need to pay very close attention to make sure that we're using that diameter appropriately. So we continue with the same formula. I still at the top of my paper write S equals 2 pi 
r squared, adding it to 2 pi r h. Now, I go ahead and substitute in. Surface area equals 2 times, again, plugging in 3.14 instead of pi, times my radius. This is my diameter, and I know to get my radius, I need to divide my diameter in half. So my radius here is going to be 3 squared plus, again, 2, 3.14. Keep my same radius. My radius won't change, and then my height here is 2. Again, I can grab my calculator, plug all of this in to get me 15 and 28 hundredths added to 37 and 68 hundredths. When I combine those, I add these two numbers together. I will then get my total surface area, which is 52 and 96 hundredths kilometers squared. There we have it. So just note that when we have our diameter, we cannot just plug in our numbers. We need to make sure that the dimensions that we're given are the, num are the dimensions that match here. And if they're not, we have to manipulate them. Um, in this case, dividing our six by two to get our radius of three. I have one more example for you. Um, and that is occasionally, um, we will be asked to find the lateral surface area of a cylinder rather than the entire surface area of a cylinder. An example of that might be um, thinking of like your canned food. This is a cylinder and we've got those two um, identical bases and then one rectangular side. So to find the, the lateral surface would be us finding um, maybe that label. So how big would that label be? That would be your lateral surface um, of a cylinder. So sometimes you might be asked to find only that. In that case, like we said on the first side, we just need to use our second half of our surface area formula. We only find the lateral face, that rectangular side. All right, so we use this formula, um, and let's go ahead and find the lateral surface area of our cylinder here. Again, I just go ahead and plug in to my formula. I take a look and say, okay, S equals 2. I replace my 3.14 for pi. My radius here is 3. I know it's my radius because it's only half of my circle. And then my height is the distance between my two bases, which is 18. Remember that your height will always be the distance between your bases. So then I plug into my calculator two times 3.14 times three times 18, getting me 339 and 12 hundredths centimeters squared. So again, this right here is the area of only this rectangular part. Um, it does not include my circles, so my circular bases. If it asks me for my lateral surface area, I only use that second part.